The first time the World Cup saw a Croatia shirt was in 1998, and what a beautiful sight it was. We'd had a taster of the Shavonica flag pattern at Euro 96. For France 98, Lotto updated the design to ripple over the shoulder, and heroes such as Boban, Suka and Prozanetsky wore it on a famous march all the way to the semi-finals. The main difference between this, the official replica version, and this, the shirts the players wore, is the white background around the Lotto logo. Also, there is no product patch on the lower front, and the collar label is different too. The World Cup version featured the tournament details heat pressed in a plastic transfer. But this isn't where the differences end. I've got some other versions to show you too. This shirt was so good that Croatia kept it on for both Euro 2000 and 2002 World Cup qualifying campaigns. They weren't all exactly the same though. There was a version with abstract Lotto logos in the design. There was a smooth, crisp version with no motifs in the material at all. The official replica had HNS crests in the background, same as the World Cup version. And there was a basic replica version too that had a squared pattern. But best of all was this version, only worn in one game against Denmark in 1999. It features a sponsor for Croatian beer, Ojusko. This was the captain and midfield maestro's Vonimir Boban shirt from the game. Cheers. International team shirts with sponsors are mind blowing, aren't they? If you had to put one on your national team shirt, what would it be? Let me know, and here's some made up examples for you to look at. 